carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. All right, let's take a look now at um, the second case we're going to deal with, which is repeated roots. They're still real. That is, uh, you know, the roots aren't going to have imaginary components. Um, but now we've got a case where some of the roots are repeated. Um, you know, so in the visually, you know, we've been talking about roots that were real. The last case um, fell something, you know, like here was in the previous case. Now we've got a case where we might have a couple roots right at the same point. Still, still on the real axis, no imaginary components. And we'll deal with the imaginary components uh, for the final part. Also, one other point about this lecture, it's probably, I'm trying something else, you know, YouTube limits you to 10 minutes and 10 megabytes. That's one reason the quality's not as good as I like it. Rather than try to break this up, um, at the forefront into small five, six minute lectures. I'm going to make one long lecture and then break it up as I edit. So lecture six, instead of having lecture six, seven, and eight, probably it'll be lecture six, part ones, two, and three, something like that. <clears throat> All right, so let's say that we're given X of S this time. You know, has a numerator and a denominator. And, you know, normally we're trying to figure out what to do with the bottom to break it up using partial fractions and expansions. So this thing may have, you know, a root at uh, minus S1, a root at minus S2, um, and then it may have repeated roots, for example. I'm going to say R. We have R roots at um, negative S3. <laughs> then, you know, S, you know, another root. So here we got a bunch of real roots then one set of repeated roots at minus three. <clears throat> now, you know, clearly this is what we're talking about causing the problems this time. And the way you break this down is you, this is going to produce um, R individual components. So what it looks like is, you know, maybe A over S plus S of one, B over S plus S of 2. And then we've got C over C1 over S plus S of 3 plus C2 over S plus S of 3 squared plus dot, dot, dot. C of R over S plus S3 to the rth power plus, you know, D over S plus S of N. So here you're going to have R components. So if this was to the third, you'd have a third part, a second part, and a first part. You have to, it's going to result in three separate components, three separate um, you know, because there's really, there's three separate roots, so there's going to be three separate um, pieces to it. All right? So this one, C of R, is easy to figure out. This one you figure out just like normal, you would expect. You know, kind of this piece goes away. When you're trying to find out C of R, this part goes away, and you plug in minus S3 for everybody else. Um, but then the other two are a little bit more difficult. So C of R equals 
S plus S sub 3 raised to the R times X of S evaluated at S equals minus S sub 3. C to the R minus 1 is the derivative. Figure this out. You take the first derivative with respect to S of this. S plus S sub 3 to the R. Evaluated at S equals minus S sub 3. The next one over, C to the R minus 2, equals the 1 over 2 factorial. And actually, there's a 1 over 1 factorial part here, which is just 1, so it's not shown. D squared over DS squared. S plus S3 to the R. Evaluated at S equals minus S3. And that continues on to get to the C R or C to the, C to the 1 in this case equals 1 over R minus 1 factorial D to the R minus 1 DS S plus S sub 3 to the R evaluated at S equals minus S3. So in the case of, um, you know, if uh, R was to the third power, you would have an easy one, and then you'd have the first derivative, and then you'd have to do the second derivative to get your three pieces. So just remember, the the easy one is the one that's where the denominator is raised to the to the highest order, the power, kind of what's given in the original problem. And the toughest one is the one where there is no the the uh, the root is not raised to any power at all. So I'm sure you're anxious to see an example. So let's see if I got an example to do.